Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm gonna to share with you how to sync up your Subaru with your garage door opener. So that way you can actually eliminate the use of this opener altogether and you can open and close your garage doors, your security gates, or if you live in a gated community, you can even sync this up with the gate in your neighborhood. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos sharing Subaru tips and tricks with you guys. So if you enjoy that, please be sure to click the subscribe button down below. If you guys learned something new today and get value out of this video, as always, please be sure to click the like button. That really helps me out. And if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. So first, go ahead and grab your garage door opener. Let's go ahead and get in the car. And you want to locate the home link mirror so this is what the home link mirror looks like you do have to have that it's got the three little buttons right here for your individual garage doors or gates if you don't have the home link mirror you can get this installed on your Subaru unfortunately you'd have to buy the part and have it installed but you can still have it if it's not already installed on your Subaru a lot of the times your Subaru may already have it. It just depends on how it was built out at the factory or if you custom ordered your car, you wanna make sure to select the Homelink mirror if you want this feature. The Homelink mirror is one of those accessories that you'll see on the Subaru website when you're building your car out. Underneath your Homelink mirror, you'll see these three buttons. They correspond with each individual door that you can sync up. So you can have a garage door here, or if you live in a gated community, you can set up that gate with this button here. Or if you have multiple garages, you can sync those up. This button right here is actually your auto dimming mirror. So if you're unfamiliar with what that is, if you've got bright lights behind you when you're driving at night, this auto dimming can be turned on to actually dim the light so you're not being blinded by somebody's brights. The auto dimming, by the way, lights up green whenever it is active. You've got to have the car on to be able to see that. So we've got a green light, your auto dimming is on. If you want to turn that off, you just simply click it like that and it turns the auto dimming off. You can have your car on or off when setting this up so it doesn't actually matter. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to clear out the mirror because my mirror is already synced up with this. So say for example, you're having trouble connecting yours, you can actually clear out your mirror and resync it. Now, whenever you resync one garage door, it's actually gonna erase all of the garages. So if you have multiple doors or gates, you're going to have to resync all of them if you clear out, which is what I'm about to do. Another reason why you may wanna clear out your mirror is if you're selling your car or your house and you don't want it to be connected to your home anymore. So here is how we do that. We click this first and third button and we hold and it's going to light up orange with a little home icon and you just click and hold that until it flashes. So it, stood, it should start flashing. Here it is. So it flashed green, I let go, and now it is completely erased. In order to sync up your garage with your garage door opener right here, you want to determine which door you wanna do. So this button right here operates this door, and so I'm going to click the corresponding button up here that I want that to be synced up with. I'm also gonna click the first button here. So we just click it, it's flashing orange, and then we click and hold the button. You wanna keep this remote just a few inches away. You click and hold the button while that is flashing. And it may open your garage or close it like mine's doing here. So once it connects, it will light up green. There we go. So now it has connected and they say it should take about 20 seconds. So I don't know if anybody counted, but it should take about 20 seconds to start flashing like that. Then you just click that again. It may not open or close on that first click, but usually on the second one, just like that, it will connect. And then it also shows you as the garage door is closing, it's flashing orange. And whenever you click it again to open it, it's flashing orange telling you that the garage door is opening. And then it lights up green whenever it's been fully opened or fully closed like that. What's also cool is that if you leave your house and you ever forget whether or not you close your garage, I know I do that all of the time, you can actually click these first two buttons, click and hold, and it'll tell you the last known status of your garage door. So we're gonna click and hold, and you see that it lights up green, telling you that the last status was open. So right now my garage door is open, which would tell me I need to turn back around, go back home and close my garage. If you wanna sync up more than one door, you just click on the next two buttons here, 
you go through the same process and sync up your other doors or gates just like we did the first one. If you did all of that and you're still having issues with your garage door connecting to your home link mirror, you will have to use the learn button that is typically on the back of your garage door opener. So you wanna click that learn button and then you have 30 seconds to go back to the front of your car to click the garage door button that you wanna sync up with it. So it helps if you have somebody who can click the learn button from the garage so you don't have to run over to your car. And then you will click and hold this button that you want to sync. So I'm gonna do it there. You click and hold it for about two seconds. It flashes like that. And you may have to do it two or three times before it actually will sync up. And there we go, now it is closing. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to click the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next one.